Hello, and welcome to a basic tutorial on how to use BoardMaker. So when you launch BoardMaker, you're going to see this screen. Um, this is to create a new board. This is to open a save board, and this is to open a template. For the purpose of this tutorial, we are just simply going to open a new board. So when you open the board, you're going to see a blank screen. It actually looks like a sheet of paper. And you can see you have a ruler right here. That ruler is going to help guide us in how large we're going to make our boxes for either a communication board or a visual schedule. So with that, um, the very first thing you should do when using um, this program is to make a box. So you're going to simply click right here on the toolbar. You see the single um, button. It's the button tool. You're going to click on it. And I'm simply going to move my mouse down to the screen. And you'll see I have a crosshair. Now, it's really important that you place your crosshair where you want to start your box. So I want to start it right here in the corner. So now once I have it here, I'm going to simply click and hold my left mouse button down and I'm going to drag it out until I get it to the size that I want it and then I release the button on my mouse. And now I have my box. Now, if I like the size of this box and I want all of my boxes on my page to be the exact same size, there's a spray toolbar, or a spray button, I should say, and that's right here. And I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to simply place it. You can see it right there. It's where the crosshair was for my original first box. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I am simply going to hold down my left button on the mouse. Do not release it. And now I'm simply going to drag it across the screen, so across and down, so I get multiple boxes on the page. And then I'm going to simply release the button. Okay. So now that we have boxes, it's time to put picture symbols in the box. So in order to do that, I'm going to click right here on this little head. Um, it's the symbol finder, and I'm going to click on it, and you'll see that the symbol finder will pop up. Now, it automatically goes to the first box um, that we created, but I could fill in other boxes, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But for now, I'm just simply going to type in the word dog right here in my search. Now, you'll see that I have an image of a dog, but there's actually a total of seven. So I can view those images a couple of different ways. I can simply use my arrows, and you'll see hot dogs appear. Well, that's because the word dog appears in hot dogs. So I can go through it like this, or I can click right here on this little symbol, and I can view the thumbnail of all of the image that contain the word dog. So I'm going to select this one. And if I want that one, I am simply going to click on that dog, go over here to my box, and click and it automatically adds it and goes directly to the next box. Now, let's do cat. You can see I have 22 images uh, that contain C-A-T. So right here you can see in communication cards, here's C-A-T, and that's why that popped up. So again, I'm just going to go to my thumbnail. I'm going to click on this cat. But maybe I don't want it to be labeled cat on my board. Maybe this cat is a, a cat that is a pet, and I want to name it Fluffy. Now, if I simply type it here in this little box, it will change the name up here. So now when I click the picture symbol, 
inside the box, you'll see it now says Fluffy instead of Cat. So this is a really quick and easy way to fill in your board. And that is it for this tutorial. Uh, the next tutorial will go over more detailed ways to customize each one of these boxes.